Alright, give me one second here, boys and girls. Actually, there's a little too much lighting here. Let me bring this down a tad. Try to bring it up because it was kind of dark, but that looks better. Okay, you know what? We'll go ahead and roll with that. How's everybody doing on their Labor Day weekend, by the way? And this is Sean White uh, coming to you here from another edition. I'm so super excited of bringing on board this very special guest um, in which we're going to have a lot of fun, guys. So... Hoping everybody's really enjoying their Labor Day weekend, and we have uh, another exclusive episode of Transformation Greatness along with the Small Business Network podcast, and we are definitely growing leaps and bounds. This has been amazing. It's been an honor and a privilege as far as to be able to do this, and why is that? It's because of the fact that for individuals such as you, you're able to come on, you're able to be inspired, you're able to learn different concepts, ideas, and it's very refreshing as well. And so with that, we're definitely going to go ahead and get this party started. So for all those that's in the listening audience, such as, hey, how you, how you doing, partner? We have Dr. James in the house. If you can do me a favor, kind sir, go ahead and share that to our respective um, platforms. Uh, for all those that's in attendance, if you catch us on the live, put in hashtag live. Let us know exactly where you're tuning in from, guys. If you know me, you've been following me for quite some time. You know I love dialogue. I love interaction. I love that whole, you know, bit. And if you, you should be happy to catch us on a replay because, you know, you're either attending to other commitments or you're with the family, you know, etc. Then put in hashtag replay and let us know where you're tuning in from. And most importantly, what resonates with you because it's going to be a lot of great stuff so if you were me right and if i was a listener audience when the guest comes on i would definitely would have a pen and piece of paper and i'll be ready as far as to ask questions and take notes as well so that's just a little something there so i'm just waiting for our special guest to go ahead and pop and pop on the scene i believe she's in the listener audience if she can just come and just say hello, let everybody know that she's in the building. And during this meantime, do me a favor, if you will, right, guys? Tag your teams. Let everybody know as far as what's going on. And why I say that is because the special guest that's coming on, she is someone that's well accomplished. She is someone that's doing a lot of great things. She has her own podcast. She's a serial entrepreneur. I mean, like, she's she's doing big things. And so I believe, as far as for those that's on here, can definitely benefit uh, from what she's going to have to say. And so I see her in the listening audience. So I'm going to bring her on board. I'm going to pull her off from the audience and bring her on to the silver screen because... That's how we do here, right? Because she is the star of the show. So you guys didn't come to hear about me. And, you know, yeah, I do appreciate it. I'm very flattered, by the way. But it's not about me, right? It's about our very special guest. So let me go ahead and bring her on here. And let's see here. Give me a couple of seconds, guys. If you know with Facebook, it could be kind of wonky, right? Sometimes it takes about a few moments for them just to you know, build up the algorithm, that sort of thing. But see, that's the reason why I love doing live streams, right, on a podcast. It's because of the fact it's real. It's real lifetime action. Yeah, it's great if it's recorded, right, and, you know, dot your eyes, cross your T's. I mean, that's all great and amazing and fantastic. But in the real world, we all know as entrepreneurs, things is not a truly exact, and there's things that happen, especially like in entertainment, right? Especially with TV and radio. There's a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes that obviously we would never ever get to see because the only thing we see is the finished product, which rightfully so. But if you're like me, you like to see the takes. You like to see the errors, the mistakes and different things of that nature. Why is that? Because that's how you're able to learn, right? And you see as far as on what it takes to build a successful show, to build a successful business, to build a successful brand, right? Going through those steps in different chapters. And I believe a lot of people, you know, they just want to bypass that and just have to finish product, right? And in the real world, we all know it doesn't 
work that way. So that's just me, right? I'm different and I get that. Some people look at me as being weird, but that stuff like that, I, I just absolutely love. So, uh, the, the, the trees, are you ready to rock and roll? Actually, a, f a fun fact about our special guest. Her Facebook account is Latrice Gardner, but she would like to be known and recognized by Francia, right? I think it's Francia. No, I'm sorry. It's one of those. It's Francia. It's like fresh air, but it's Francia. Francia. See? I'm getting good. It's got an original name. I like it. Got not a lot of spice to it. <laughs> so... I'm just trying to see here if I can get her on board here. Um, Francia, if you can do me a favor, if you can just um, actually send me an invite to jump on board. Okay, to jump on board the podcast because I sent you out an invite, but you probably didn't see it. I don't know if you have, but I'm going to try again, guys. Yeah, let's go ahead and try again. Like I said, Facebook. Oh, here we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add you right now. And hmm, okay, I'm trying to add you on, but it's saying that you're having technical difficulties. Uh, let me ask you this: Do you have your phone the same way you had it before? Do Do you have it auto rotate like in landscape mode, or do you have it as far as like just in portrait mode? Remember, like we spoke before, um, you want to have it in landscape mode. So I'm just curious to see on how you have your phone. I'm going to try again because I just tried to add you on and just say you was having technical difficulties. That's the message in which that I got. And so, yeah, let's see here. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Yep. It's saying this person was unable to join because of technical issues. Okay. Interesting stuff there. Interesting stuff. Give me a second here, guys. During the meantime, if you can, if you just want to just you know, collaborate amongst yourselves, say hello, get, get, get to know each other as well. But we're definitely going to get this rocking and rolling here, so. All right, so I just reached out to you, Miss Fr Fr French here. And I'm just ready to go ahead and get this rock and roll in. It's exciting times, exciting times, guys. Oh, by the way, too, uh, why I have why I have you guys' attention? If you miss our most recent episode from the Small Business Network show, we actually did it about a few hours ago. So if you have, haven't had an opportunity, by all means, go ahead and take a look at that because it is absolutely fascinating and amazing. A lot of great information was in fact shared. So I would definitely uh, recommend for you when you have a chance, of course, is just to go go on my page and scroll down a bit. And I, I believe about five hours ago, we actually did the Small Business Network show. It's pretty fascinating and pretty amazing. So let's see here. Okay. Okay, awesome. Interesting here. So she says that she's ready, she's ready to rock and roll and lose control. But yet when I'm trying to add her. Okay. Here we go. So now, now it's adding right now. So as you all know, as far as on Facebook, you know, we're gonna go ahead and get it rocking and rolling. And with no further ado, we have here Miss Francia. Love, I'm starting to really love, love that name, Francia Gardner, right here to my right. So hello there, ma'am. Hi, how are you doing today, Sean? Oh, uh, you know. You know what? I am doing fantastic. But the better question is, how are you doing? <laughs> I am awesome, amazing, super duper. That's what That's I'm talking great. about. That's what I'm talking about. So before we get started, um, as I mentioned to you, I'm a fan of the other fine arts. So I'm looking at that painting in the background, and I just I want to know two things. One, did you do that yourself? And if, if you did. How long did it take you to complete the painting? I cannot take uh, credit for the beautiful art behind me. Uh, the artist by uh, Bronze Lion Artistry. And um, so, yeah, that's that's whose art it is. All right. 
Cool, cool. So let's go ahead and dive in. So if you can just, for the listening audience, um, just tell us a little bit about who you are and a little bit of your backstory. All right. Well, thank you so much for having me on the network today, Sean. Uh, my name is Frenchier Gardner. I'm born and raised in Dallas, Texas. Spent a considerable time in St. Louis, Missouri, uh, cultivating myself and my um, businesses. And I am an entrepreneur. Right now, I'm just, I'm an artist. You know, definitely consider myself an artist. I'm an author, an award-winning author, number one Amazon bestseller. And um, I paint, I paint as well. And um, I'm a podcaster. I'm the host of a podcast called A News You Can Use Podcast. And um, this little subbing bell from um, Dallas, Texas, has been through uh, a lot of different experiences and a lot of different trauma to overcome, to become this strong woman who I am today. Mm, amazing. Wow, you definitely said, said a lot. So you have accomplished so much. And that's something that I truly admire and respect because just like as far as myself, hmm, that's definitely... Uh, a part of my backstory is like so many different phases as far as to my life, right? You know, been through so much different trials and tribulations, as I'm pretty sure a lot of other people have, right? But there's certain things in which I've been experienced too, especially as, you know, at a young age with the type of environment which I came from, no one should really should have to experience or even see that, right? But, right. you know, or pray praises to God, honestly. So I'm basically a walking testimony and it sounds like you as well. Yes. One thing about my audience, they love to know the backstory, right? They love to learn or know what truly inspired you like to even become an entrepreneur, right? Right, because there are individuals that probably don't have any desire whatsoever to be an entrepreneur or they may be dabbled in this beautiful profession, but just felt like it wasn't for them. So maybe as far as you can give us a little backstory, what brought you up to this point, what inspired you to become an entrepreneur? Was there anyone that inspired you to want to get into this industry? Talk to us. Yes, yeah, so I watched my, growing up, I watched my father, he was an entrepreneur. He had his own business that he worked. And um, as I grew older, I just found that I just wanted my time back. You know, I was working these jobs and I wanted to figure out how to leverage my time and my money and, and actually do some things that I'm passionate about. And so in the search for those things, I ended up becoming a entrepreneur um, back in, I say 2014, 15, something like that, or maybe 2016. Okay. But, um, I just wanted to have my own time. I didn't want to be clocking in and and uh, asking for permission to go to the doctor. And nothing, there's nothing wrong with having a job, but I personally just wanted to be free, really. And, and also leave a legacy for my children. You know, I have four children. I wanted to leave something for them to have. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We we have here Brother Mark Rodriguez in the house, my powerful on purpose um, alumni brother. Welcome, welcome, welcome. For anybody else that's just tuning in, welcome once again here. Transformation Greatness along with the Small Business Network podcast. We have here our special guest here, Latrice Gardner, a.k.a. Miss Fran Franchier. I love that name, by the way, too. I love it, Miss Franchier. So you mentioned as far as with that you have accomplished a lot, such as being a podcaster, also a award-winning author as well. Yes. Cool, cool. When did you become an author, and what inspired you to become an author? I became an author in December 2019. I'd moved back to Dallas, Texas. I was taking care of my mama, and I had a vivid dream about um well i had a vivid dream one of my peers from st louis was telling me that i needed to do more to let my four children joseph jr french hair too melchizedek and sarai to let them know that i still love them and a little backstory in regards to my family life is that due to circumstances um when i was married 
uh, we lost our children and CPS took them and uh, they've been adopted by a family in another state and a close adoption and they're all together, but I don't have any contact with them. So to bring back up to speed in December of 2019, I had a vivid dream where my peer was telling me that I needed to do more to let my children know that I still love them, that I still was thinking about them. And so, Sean, I woke up from that dream and the next day, I penned the first edition of my children's book called Mommy and Daddy, Do You Still Love Me Anymore? Mm -hmm. And not only did I write the first edition in one day in one sitting, I, I actually published it um, as a Kindle ebook on um, that same very day. So that's how my writing career took off. And as far as for the podcasting side? And podcasting. 2000, um, I guess it's been four years now. So around the same time at the beginning of the, no, it can't be. Either way, I started podcasting um, when I was in the insurance industry. I was talking to one of my girlfriends about marketing strategies. And she suggested that I become a podcaster on YouTube and show myself as an expert in the insurance industry. Well, okay. I tabled that idea but it was always in the back of my head. And so um, I I went to this co-working space in St. Louis one week and they had a they had business classes in the evening. And so I went to one of them, which the topic was podcasting. And at that time I didn't have a podcast, but one of the first questions that they asked Sean was what was the name of your podcast and, and, and what is it about? Right. So on the fly, I made up my, my podcast, um, News You Can Use podcast. And at that time, I was just about promoting what was um, good and positive that was going on in the communities, like just basically bringing news, news, talking about events and, and current events, things like that. Right. So that's how um, the podcast got started. Um, probably, you know, several episodes into it, I just, I kind of revamped and decided I wanted to bring in guests. And um, that's when I decided to promote uh, black and brown businesses and business owners because I feel like we do a lot of impactful work in our communities, mm -hmm. but the mainstream media is not like picking up on it. They're not talking about it. And so I wanted to use my platform for that. Awesome, awesome. And during the time frame that you've been podcasting, so a little bit over uh, four years, is that correct? Yes. What have you found to be the greatest joys of being a podcaster and some of the challenges of being a podcaster? So my greatest joys of podcasting have been all the amazing um, entrepreneurs and business owners that I've interviewed and met over the time. I've, I've, I've interviewed over about 75 um, business owners and entrepreneurs and they are all awesome and amazing and really doing some impactful work so that's that's been the best part about it the networking right. the most challenging part of podcasting i would say has been um at the end after i've done all the recording either audio or visual and it's time to publish the episode with the show notes those show notes give me hell <laughs> if i can say that <laughs> trying to figure out what's the best thing so i can get the seo optimization and people can find it and oh my god that's that's what takes me the most most time so i would say that and and just marketing the podcast just trying to push it and and you know keep it going and keep getting listens and downloads i think those are the most two challenges i've had yeah indeed and for anyone um that's in like entertainment that, that's doing the kind of work and wish that we're doing right the podcast doing the actual podcast itself is the easy part right that's pretty pretty simple right yeah. but in terms of the back and stuff it takes a lot of time and that can be the most challenging so you're most certainly correct on that got a question for you sure so, so because of the fact that you're that you're going to be coming on board and you're going to be um, a co-host with us as well, which congratulations, by the way. Thank this, you. Definitely. What can the listener audience expect from listening to your podcast? 
tuning in to some awesome pop, um, business owners, um, getting some um, uh, insight on um, business. Really, it's, it's a business podcast. So, um, my my uh, guests they add value in regards to business and entrepreneurism. And so, if you're a business owner, it, my podcast is definitely something worth tuning into because you know we talk about a lot of different subjects and you know marketing you know balance work life balance and type things like that so I, that's what i i would respect awesome and you did mention that you are an artist i don't think that we touch bases more so on the art our, our, our artistic side so maybe you can dive into that a little bit more when, when you meant you said you're an artist yeah yeah, I paint. I started. I started painting um, a few years ago. I took a class, an introduction to acrylic painting, mm -hmm. and just loved it. I really did. I really enjoyed it. Um, missed a few class. So I didn't get to learn all the details, like how how you got faces and things like that. So I, I, I'm I'm mostly an abstract painter. Okay. So I I, I do abstract work, and um, it's relaxing to me. And I'm hoping for anyone who who um, indulges in my art that you know it brings them peace and calmness as well absolutely now for those that may be watching this and i know what you mean by abstract art but for the listening audience and maybe those that may be like okay i have no idea what what the heck she means by that can, can you explain to listen to audience what do you mean by abstract art i sure can so um abstract art doesn't have any faces there's not it's not anything specific. I'm not drawing anything. I'm not painting anything specific. It's really just something, you know, it's it's just strokes and and so you're you're not gonna find any faces or anything like that or or animals or or any kind of object. You know, basically this is the objectless right. uh art, um, where it's more of um designs, you know, or or aesthetics. So it's more about uh you know what what the eye of the beholder will will see within the art themselves. So it's more so I guess a paraphrase is so it would be more so like it's very therapeutic. Can we call it like life art or therapeutic sure. life art? Would you say? Sure. All right, cool. Then there it is. We have Roosevelt Russell here in the house. Also another one of our fellow partners here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So let me ask you this. And this is something which I love to ask a lot of my guests, right? Because it seems like you have accomplished a lot. And I love to ask this question because I, I love to get, you know, different responses. Because you accomplished so much and you can really say to yourself, like, you know what? I'm cool as far as what I'm doing, right? I have my tribe, right? I, I have my... Uh, people, listeners, those that reach out to me, you know, etc. And I'm good, right? I don't want to, you know, try to reach other people. I'm good and I'm comfortable, right? So I guess my question to you would, would be, why is it important as far as to reach more of an audience? And really, also a two-part question. And also, what inspired you to us, the Small Business Network? I'm very curious on that. So uh, that is a two part question. Um, uh, the first question, the second question, I'll answer by saying that Dr. James um, reached out to me and we talked, and that's how um, the small business uh, network got that, how that interest became a thing. Okay. And then what was the first question? Yeah. So the first question is why is it imperative to, to reach now a larger audience instead of just basically staying? within the audience and which that you built up i've always dreamed of being global um really that's that's been since i was about 19 years old i had a dream of me speaking to large audiences um i feel that my message pervades and transcends transcends i think that a lot of people have experienced the things i've, I've uh, experienced and i do think that i can inspire and motivate people to get up and and do what they're passionate about and 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 to find their purposes that's really my goal 
um, in anything that I do is about, you know, expressing that, okay, yeah, I've been through some hard things, some terrible things, but that hasn't stopped me from accomplishing anything. And that's really my main, my main um, message to anyone is that your past is just that, your past. And you can leave it right there. Um, let it empower you to be who you want to be um, today and tomorrow. Amazing, amazing stuff. The reason why I'm, I keep looking down is because I'm just trying to see if anybody has any questions in the listening audience. And okay. I, I guess not. So that, that must mean as far as that you were definitely very precise as far as with your information and they're getting a lot of value from it that's what I, I i get from that from people not asking questions so last but not least and then from there i'll definitely let you go because i know your time is limited if people were to watch this and they're like wow i would love to get a hold of her but i have no idea on what you know social media avenues that she is how, how can people get a hold of you well for First of all, I'll give out my website. Um, you can chat with me um, on my website. It's my, my first name is French Air. That's spelled F as in Friday, R-E-N-C-H-A-I-R-E.com. And that's my website. You can tap into my art, my books, and um, you can just tap into me in general. You can chat with me there. Um, I'm, on, I'm very social, so I'm on Facebook. Um, um, I like to give out my business pages. Uh, you can like my um, page, Frontier Gardener, or Frontier's Gardener um, Public Relations page. Um, on Instagram, follow me at PR, like Public Relations, PR Frontier. I'm on TikTok at Frontier, at my first name, Clubhouse at Frontier Gardener. I'm on, uh, what's the thing? Twitter at um miss ms frenchy f-r-e-n-c-h-y-0-6 so i'm very social um uh, you can give me a call if you want to call me um uh, at 314-325-9851 but um mainly it's my website frenchair.com um that you want to connect to that's where um my my art is my paintings and um all um five or six of my books are on there too for your purchase so you can get you some signed copies and things amazing amazing and before we leave i'm sorry I, I actually when the podcast is over with just make sure that you put all your information as far as in the comment section okay because i believe it's going to be individuals that's going to want to reach out to you and that's mostly i see like a common theme when i do these podcasts okay which is truly a tremendous honor and, and a joy I do have a, a court, um, just one last question. And this is something for, if someone is watching this and they're like, wow, right? They're like, man, she's doing so much, right? And I truly appreciate that and it's amazing, but I can't do as far as on what she's doing, right? I mean, her situation is totally different from mine. I got so much going on. I'm experiencing a lot of trauma. I got great ideas. I know maybe one day, right, I can do it, but, not right now, right? I just got too much going on. I would like for you to, to just for a few moments, take a look into that camera. And if it was that individual, either man or woman, that were actually telling you that, and you're listening to it, what type of advice would, would you give him or her? Take it away. I would say, um, I'd, I'd encourage you to go ahead and get, get going. <laughs> Life is short. Um, my sister died when she was 42 years old. Like I'm, I'm a year older than that now. And that was like 10 years ago. And she taught me that life is too short. Life is fleeting. You don't have much time here. So it's really imperative that one, you find out who you are. And then two, you get busy on your purpose. Because I believe that everyone, and I mean everyone that's born here on this planet, has been predestined with their their own plan and purposes and, and passions. Mm. And so I think that it's imperative that we all get to that and we get to our, our, our purposes because there are people that we're supposed to touch. There's specific people in the world that we are supposed to, we, you know, individually are supposed to touch. And so um, it's, it's those people need you. You know, you have a testimony, you have a story, 
And it's not all about telling the story or any of that, but it's just a matter of being empowered mm. and to empower others. And so that's that's really would be what I would say is that go get busy. You know, don't don't wait. Um, you don't know what what tomorrow is going to hold. We're hoping that we're going to be here, but you don't know. And so that's how that's that's really how, how, how I've lived my life. You know, if that's how I've accomplished so much, because I, all the good ideas that the ancestors tapped down on me, I put them out there in the world. You know, I, I put them out there. And, um, you know, that's how you be great. You know, you, you just put it out there. You take the risks. You got to take the risks um, sometimes. Um, sometimes it's about planning and waiting, but don't procrastinate. Uh, find right. your passions today. That's right. That's right. So, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes another fantastic episode from Transformation Greatness along with the Small Business Network podcast. We have our amazing guests and future co-host as well, Miss Franchier. I love that name. I, I know I said that multiple times, but I do. Miss Franchier um, Gardner. Um, you can definitely catch her as far as on all the social media handles. You're going to be seeing her face a lot more as she's going to be doing amazing work with us. And I just know as far as you'll be able to learn a lot, you know, by following her and even connecting with her. For everybody else that's watching this, if you love as far as on what we do and you would love to be a guest, right, as far as on the podcast, you can get in contact with myself, uh, Ms. Franchier, Dr. James, Roosevelt Russell, Christy Redding, and any one of us would be more than happy to go ahead and assist you. And even if you said to yourself, you know what, that's cool and all, but I would love as far as to be on TV and radio. Perhaps you may be one of those that would like to have your own channel. By all means, please feel free to have a conversation with us and we can definitely see as far as on what that looks like because we are here to serve and really get the message out as far as, you know, to people that can truly benefit and resonate from your brand, your message, your story, your business, etc. because that's what we're all about. So until then, family, enjoy the rest of your Labor Day weekend. And I'm going to end this like I end all my other episodes. And if what we stated on here either motivated, transformed, or inspired at least one person, at least one person, then may God be the glory. And we take no credit for absolutely none of it. Until then, friend chair, I thank you for, for your time. It's been very impactful. And I know this is going to go a long way. So until the next episode, everyone, enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. Peace. Absolutely.